The other night I asked a question in my spin class that suddenly triggered the highest level of motivation from everybody in that class. Because as soon as I asked that question, everyone was going absolutely mad in the training. And today I want to share that question with you and how you can use this question to get more out of yourself. So the other night I was teaching a spin class at the gym and in the spin class we were doing a spinning track which is where you're going really fast with not much resistance for a long period of time and traditionally in these tracks we kind of go anywhere from like 30 seconds at maximum 90 to 2 minutes as a, as a key block within the set. And the other night we introduced a song where we were doing 3 minutes at that tempo so it was a kind of a new innovation that we were doing in the workout. And it was also gave us the opportunity to explore different things that we were doing. Now as an instructor, I'm always looking for ways to challenge people to go to the next level. And one thing I thought about when I was learning this track was, a lot of people are gonna take this three minutes really easy. Well, there's probably actually two problems. One, they're gonna take it way too easy. Or two, they're gonna slowly build and they'll peak at the end. So they might start easier and as time progresses, they'll peak towards the last 30 seconds and they'll max out at the end. Now I wanted to challenge my class to kind of go to another level. And as I was learning this track, I kind of thought about this concept of how can I get these people to be uncomfortable from the start and learn, learn how to be, manage that uncomfortable place for the whole three minutes? So I just asked the question before I actually started the set. I kind of gave them, here's the terrain, here's what we're doing. We're going to be doing three minutes at the speed. Here's where your resistance needs to be. But the other thing I said is, I want you to explore how good you are at being uncomfortable. I want you to explore how good you are at being uncomfortable because when we're growing we have to get good at being uncomfortable. So I kind of put that question in place and I kind of set up the terrain and then as soon as they started I put a lot of pressure on the group to make sure they were in the place where they were feeling uncomfortable. So I was in a confrontational way I was saying are you uncomfortable? Have you put enough resistance on? Why haven't you if you know you haven't? So I was kind of doing this type of stuff. And then what happened was, once they were working through that three minutes, I was trying to keep them in a place where they were staying uncomfortable. And then in the last minute, I was actually trying to get them to push through that to peak at the end. Now, this worked, because when I was teaching the class, I looked up and the class was going mad. Seriously, like, you could see 100% of the people in the room were taking on the challenge of staying uncomfortable for a longer period than what they normally were. And it went so much so that after the class, a lady called Kim who comes to my classes came up to say, Bevan, I'm going to write down what you said because it really hit me and it really made me think about if I want to grow, I've got to get good at being uncomfortable. Now this is a really important concept to understand in life. There's different areas where we're uncomfortable, but in times where we want to grow, we've got to get good at managing being uncomfortable because growth is uncomfortable. Like think of any time in your life where you've been uncomfortable or where you've actually grown, you've had to work through being uncomfortable. And a lot of people, they think they're growing in an area because they're putting time into it, but the time they're putting into it is never uncomfortable. So they're probably not growing. So I also want to quickly share four tips with you around how you get better at staying in the uncomfortable place in the times that you're growing. So the first thing is, is you've got to go into it with the mindset and the framework of I'm going to be uncomfortable in this next period of time. So think back to the class I was teaching. I let them know, doing three minutes, I want you to be uncomfortable early. Here's where I want you to be and here's how I want you to think about this situation. So getting a mindset of being uncomfortable means I'm growing this situation and I want to stay in the uncomfortable place as soon as I'm there. Secondly is we actually got to get to the uncomfortable quickly. So as I was saying, in the class as soon as they started the set, I pressured them to make sure they were uncomfortable by using the moderate amount of resistance, by making sure they were staying on the speed, and just by doing some self-assessment of where they were at within the intensity of the workout. So as soon as you start your activity, you've got the mindset to say, hey, I'm going to about to get uncomfortable. But then when you're actually doing it, are you working at a level that is uncomfortable? The third thing is, is how good are you at staying in the uncomfortable place? It's really interesting. Often what will happen is distraction will remove us away from being uncomfortable. I can think of my piano playing. Sometimes I'm learning a really hard piece that's really uncomfortable. And in my mind, I think, I might check my emails right now. 
So this is where distraction is pulling me away from being uncomfortable in this moment. And really what we're trying to do is get better at staying uncomfortable for the time frame we've set. So I might have said to myself, I'm going to do 30 minutes practicing this song and I want to try to stay uncomfortable the whole 30 minutes because I'm growing. So you're looking for that moment where you're trying to pull out of being uncomfortable. And then step number four is when you identify that you're pulling away from the uncomfortable moments is to develop strategies, mindsets and tactics or skills to help you stay in your uncomfortable place. So it might be, let's use my piano example, it might be actually right now just go back to the mindset of I'm trying to stay uncomfortable or it might be just to go how do I learn to, to stick in this place when I'm, my mind is distracting me and in an exercise environment it might be about putting motivational tactics in place this is really the question you're trying to explore because if you can stay uncomfortable for the time frames you've put in maximizing time and growth is what is happening. And what do I mean by this? Well, when we think about I'm trying to grow, let's say I'm trying to play piano for an hour today. If I'm being comfortable and I'm not stretching myself within that hour, I'm not maximizing that time. But if I can spend 70% of that time in uncomfortable growth, I'm maximizing my growth time. So as I'm talking about this, what's an area of your life where you're trying to grow, where you actually want to get to that next level? The first question to explore is, are you spending time on it? The second question to explore is, are you spending uncomfortable time on it? And if not, what are the four steps? Preload a mindset and the thinking before you start. Once you start, get to the place where you're being uncomfortable. Thirdly, catch if you're falling out of the uncomfortable place. And then fourthly, what tactics and skills and mindsets will keep you in the comfortable place when you're, when you're working on that skill? Ideally, I love the idea of maximizing time and growth. If you can get great at dealing with the uncomfortable space, well, the rewards will absolutely, absolutely be mind-blowing in your life. So have a think about this, apply it to the area you're trying to grow, and let me know how it impacts that area of your life.